understanding and also cooperation cooperation which refers to the mutual understanding between the employer and employees without any differences a separate provision is there according to article 14 unity of command unity without any irrespect of any feeling where one and all that is called managerial activity according to nrfl 14th principles the following the points first one is division of work division of work which refers to the father of economy adrespit says that the work may be division among all the workers work may be division different different parts as a result output will come out it means dividing the work on the principle that different workers are the best fitted for the different job depending upon their attitude and skills and ability that should be considered second one authority and responsibility these two are interrelated and should go together authority is the power of the manager to delegate and control the subordinate next to discipline discipline is the obeying and working according to the instructions and orders and the supervisor discipline is very much essential part in the organization without discipline no use at all example the district collector control disciplined way in the district higher authority is control under single hand unit of command it means employees should receive order and instruction from one boss only unit of command one boss one worker that is called we should obey the norms our management norms government rules and regulations employees working conditions working hours wages salaries in everything that should be unit of command it means employee should receive order and instruction from one boss only unit of direction direction which refers to the guidelines suggestions it deals with the functioning of the organization unit of direction implies that there should be one plan and one head direction example a picture like bahubali director director suggested the picture in a different manner different concept as a result the picture click